future President John F. Kennedy graduated cum laude from Harvard with a bachelor's degree in government, concentrating on international affairs. On October 26, 1941, he was commissioned an ensign in the U.S. Navy and was assigned to the Office of Naval Intelligence in Washington, D.C. His first command was PT-101 from December 7, 1942 until February 23, 1943 but he was unhappy with being deployed to the Panama Canal. PT stands for Patrol Torpedo, a small boat capable of sinking much larger ships. Their existence prompted navies around the world to develop destroyers specifically to combat them. He requested to be sent to the South Pacific, where the actual fighting against the Japanese was taking place, and he was successfully transferred over. Lieutenant Kennedy took command of PT-109 in the Solomon Islands, and found himself in the middle of the fighting, like he wanted. On the night of August 1, 1943, his PT boat, along with several others, were deployed to attack a Japanese convoy resupplying a nearby garrison. They all fired their torpedoes, but none of them hit the Japanese convoy in the pitch-black night. Lieutenant Kennedy saw another Japanese destroyer and began to maneuver to attack, but was suddenly rammed by another Japanese destroyer, the Amagiri. It's up for debate whether the destroyer rammed PT-109 on purpose or not, but nevertheless, the collision cut PT-109 in half and killed two members of its crew. Lieutenant Kennedy and his men chose not to surrender and instead decided to try to swim to a nearby island. Kennedy took the life jacket strap from an injured crew member and put it between his teeth and pulled him with as they swam there. They arrived at the island, three and a half miles away from the wreckage of their boat, by the morning of August 2nd. The island was Plum Pudding Island, which was later renamed to Kennedy Island because of this incident. After the men arrived on shore, Kennedy had them go to the larger Olasana Island, where they were found and helped by Melanesian scouts, Byuku Gasa and Ironi Kumana, dispatched by coast watcher Reg Evans. Kennedy gave them a coconut shell with a map of his location scratched into it. Seven days later, PT-109's crew was rescued. Because of this incident where Lieutenant Kennedy showed incredible leadership skills and devotion to duty, he received several awards. First was the Navy and Marine Corps Medal, his citation praising his leadership, devotion to duty, lack of care for his personal safety while saving his crew, and courage. Because of the injuries he suffered during the collision with the Japanese destroyer, he received the Purple Heart. The incident made worse back pain he already had before he joined. He received the American Defense Medal for serving before the attack on Pearl Harbor and the American Campaign Medal for serving after it. He also received the Asiatic Pacific Campaign Medal with three service stars indicating multiple campaigns within the theater and the World War II Victory Medal. The PT-109 incident was highly publicized and even made into a movie. Lieutenant Commander Kohei Hanami, who commanded the Japanese destroyer that night, attended President Kennedy's inauguration in 1961. Kennedy returned to active duty after he recovered from his injuries and after an operation where he helped to rescue Marines on a dark and rainy night in November 1943, he was removed from active duty. When asked how he became a war hero, Kennedy replied, It was easy. They cut my PT boat in half. Kennedy was promoted to full lieutenant and retired from the Navy Reserve on March 1, 1945. His service in World War II went on to greatly help his ambitions, which eventually led him to become the 35th President of the United States. I hope you enjoyed this. Stay tuned for more.